slightly different review than usual in that I was starting to get impatient for the rollout of Android 12 to my OnePlus 9 Pro. So I decided that I would give it a shot to see if there was a ROM or a third-party ROM available for my old OnePlus 5T to see if maybe Lineage OS or some other custom ROM developer had released it for my device for the OnePlus 5T. And sure enough, it didn't disappoint. So heading on over to XDA developers, I found out that um, there is a ROM by the developer group Derpfest that has released an early version of the ROM for the 5T. So I decided I would give it a shot to see how the new Android 12 theming system looks, see how maybe some of the um, widgets look, and generally the other um, menu options. Um, I don't know without using having used the Pixel 6 too much how the settings menu should look, but from my initial set, um, uh, test, it does look like um, enough of the um, uh, general layout looks pretty much um, as stock Android 12 as possible. So the first thing I wanted to play with, of course, is the theming system. As you can see, I'm using a mostly black wallpaper with the, one of the built-in wallpapers. You can see the icons at the bottom are themed a little bit. One of the first things I thought was kind of cool in um, the theming system is the positional um, color theme. So if I long press here, you can see a generally gray tint with the wallpaper. But if I long press down here a little bit, you can see that the um, top two menu items tint a little bit more green to the green eye of the owl behind it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then when I swipe down, of course, you can see the colors are more black and white to match the wallpaper. So switching, switching the wallpaper up a little bit. So I'm going to change it to um, one of the other colors. So I'm going to pick uh, this orange and uh, orangish looking one a little bit. I'm going to let it change both of them. So it'll confirm that the wallpaper was updated. You can see that now the icons at the bottom have tinted a little bit more pinkish to be a contrast to the wallpaper. Long pressing now has a uh, is changed the colors a little bit there as well. So that's pretty nifty. And then swiping down, you can see the um, toggle buttons have now um, tinted to match the wallpaper a little bit. So it's a more contrasting color to match that and even the um, um, brightness bar at the top has changed a little bit, so I thought that is a, a pretty good note. Um, going into the Play Store, you can see the search bar and some of the tinting options there have um, been updated. Going into Settings, you can see that tints a little bit, so overall my initial impressions is that it is a pretty good theme. Um, and I guess I turned that off. I was going to, I'm also kind of curious to see how, oh, it doesn't let me swipe to open the Google app for some reason, which is kind of weird, but okay, whatever about that. Um, so I thought that was um, pretty cool, how seamless it is and how quick and easy that is. So even switching to, let's say, a more white, blue, and purple of a theme, so <clears throat> the colors and the icons changed, of course, there. Long pressing, um, it adjusts a little bit, not as much as the last one, but it still adjusts. And then, of course, the toggles have updated there. So initial impression here is that the theming system is pretty good. Now, as far as the widgets um, goes, um, let's take a look at some of the clock options. So... Um, Let's do, I guess, this clock right here, more of a bar style. So you can pick one with a solid background or transparent. So I'll do a transparent or a solid one there to have that. Um, um, so to show that contrast, and you can see that as you move it around, the colors adjust based on where you are on the screen. So that is actually pretty cool. I like that attention to detail. Um, Going back in, let's see, maybe the Google. So let's say I want to do this weather widget. Let's take a look at this one a little bit. And that one also offers a good 
um, a similar op a similar uh, theming option. So I think that is pretty good. I like that the or what they said in the press release that they're making for a more uh, consistent UI is definitely well done to the point where you can see that all widgets now, or at least the Google widgets are now um, more in tune with each other, more modernized, more um, even so that they look about as similar as possible. So I want to say that all other widgets for um, non um, Google apps are going to be the ones that really stand the test of time to see who updates their widgets, see who um, adopts the automatic color options. So I want to say one of the ones I definitely want to test is Today Weather because they do have updated their widgets a little bit for more customization. So I want to see if um, they automatic that their widgets automatically update in the background as far as the background colors go to match the wallpaper. So that will be an upcoming test. But for my initial impressions, overall, it is um, pretty good as far as um, theming your um, colors theme together. Um, you don't have to do it manually or um, so while a developer or device manufacturer like OnePlus let you customize the color, every time you change your background, you don't have to change the um, colors of your notification tile. So your buttons up here don't, you don't have to, like if you have a more reddish background, you don't have to change it manually to red or blue or green or whatever, it'll change automatically. And I like the, so far I like the more bubblish UI that they have. The animations seem good so far. Um, initially it felt a little bit sluggish, but I want to say that's because my phone was still syncing in the background. And I do like that they've themed the Google Play Store and hasn't been themed yet, but at least the widgets have, so that's um, good enough. Um, the one I know, the one widget I know that kind of throws me off is the Chrome widget. So I am guessing that they haven't had a chance to update that yet. Not sure why, but it would have been nice to have that match the um, rest of the UI to have the more rounder. So, I mean, it's like even in the, uh, for example, for example, the bookmarks versus the use um pill that's one of those things that would have been nice to um have a, even a more consistent um rounding where the the chrome search uh, widget is extra rounded while the um widget the while the bookmarks one is not as rounded so it's kind of weird that they don't have that consistent so that'll be one of those things to definitely play with um, or wait for an update for. Um, but overall, the widgets seem nicer. Um, and they do have some nice, fun clock animations. So if you want a, um, an, uh, a seconds bar, then that's going to be good. It looks like they have an um, edit button. So if you want to easily switch it, then you can do that as well. So a pretty good... Um, star, so it's just really a matter of other developers integrating with um, the new widget system and seeing how the automatic rounded corners kind of um, come into play. As far as some of the settings menu go, um, you do have your usual adaptive brightness, green timeout, uh, uh, dark theme, toggle. Um, this might be a ROM situation as far as setting your widget with um and actually before i forget the um gboard also supports um color theming so um if we open up the keyboard you'll see that it themes to the wallpaper and it has a little bit more of the rounded corner so you um that's something in the settings to um set so if you go into language and settings and if you have gboard set then you and you go to theme. You can ha see this first option over here for dynamic theme. Um, if you want keyboarders or not, but 
um, with a dynamic theme, you can have it set to automatically change to your wallpaper or background, so it changes um, automatically. Um, uh, one thing I don't remember, I don't know if this is a ROM thing, but I do like the extra um, time as far as battery to die. Granted, I don't have a lot of um, apps installed at the moment, so that two days is a little bit um extra as far as the potential life of the device i figure it's about one day um in order to or for normal battery use with normal apps installed um wallpaper style takes you to dark theme or light team theme you can have themed icons or not and an app grid uh usual security and things like that i have a oneplus device so this rom developer has um uh, some, I guess, OnePlus settings included, possibly still in um, um, uh, beta testing because it is an early um, build for the or early build of the ROM for the device. So, as far as first impression goes, um, I want to say that I am pretty impressed with Android 12 theming and widget systems. So. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll probably play around with this on my 5T a little bit more to see how other apps um, integrate with the theming system and color system. Um, I don't use too many widgets at the moment, so it's aside from like Today Weather and Custom Live Widget Maker. So that's actually going to be one of the things that I... I'm going to test also is to see how they've integrated, if Custom Live Widget Maker has integrated or if um, there's a way for it to automatically detect the wall, your Android 12 wallpaper and um, adjust the colors accordingly there, like the background image or some of its various accent colors and things like that. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, or anything like that, feedback, what do you think of Android 12, whether it's on a Pixel 6 or a OnePlus device or a Samsung or if you have it or not or anything like that, um, or if you have a separate question as far as getting this ROM on your OnePlus 5T, I'll have a link in the um, show notes as far as the um, as far as the ROM goes and the steps, the steps are in those, that, those in that uh, post. So if you want to get it running on your 5T, but XDA developers does have a number of devices. If you want to see if there's a custom ROM available for your device to use Android 12 there, um, already, but thanks for tuning. So you can, like I said, you can comment on this post on the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Patel N01, or on this post on Twitter at Patel N01. And of course, the website is headphonesmeal.reviews for uh, past episodes, uh, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning in to this particular episode, and until next time. <laughs>